so today we are starting this workshop with a very interesting brand called Koja Lifestyle. Uh, Koja, as in Korean and Japanese, uh, uh, as the as the abbreviation stands. Uh, it's a wonderful store uh, across the globe. Uh, it's a it's a very uh, interesting brand. And with me is the uh, founder of the brand, uh, Mr. Brian. Uh, Mr. Brian has global expertise and uh, uh, is now looking at expanding the brand. Uh, across the world and and primarily focus on India as well uh, to be able to build the Koja stores. Uh, I'd like to hear from you, Mr. Brian, yes. as to what your expectation is from this workshop and what do you you know uh, want to achieve uh, from um, you know franchising and what's the vision vision you have for Koja via franchising? Uh, actually, uh, for the Koja, we have started this brand in two thousand eighteen. So till now, like uh, we have been growing, like we but we are not growing that fast. So we have opened like uh, till now we have opened around eleven stores. So which is basically all like uh, self-owned stores yes. with a like local partner. Yes. So during this uh, period, we are getting lots of uh, inquiries from our like uh, clients, like sure. even online, offline, yes. and everybody is like asking for the franchisee. Yeah. So, but we were not ready for that franchisee, but and so when I came to learn about Sparkle Minds and I saw your website also, I read the profile also. Mm -hmm. So, like uh, now I'm thinking so to go like expansion beyond the 10 stores, sell on stores yes. for the franchisee part. So I hope like from this workshop, I get some like uh, like whole detailed idea of how to expand the stores in India, yeah. like in an organized way. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you know there is uh, uh, franchising your retail business in India. It has got its own dynamics. Mm -hmm. It has got its own you know way of of operating. And especially India is a very very uh, complex market in that sense. You know there is real estate uh, rules playing. Uh, there are multitude of laws uh, that play uh, uh, you know uh, as a combination to be able to you know work on franchising. So we're going to create this model. I'll help you. I mean we've been doing this for twenty five plus years. Retail has been um, you know, bread and butter for us, and we know how retail operates. We're very, very strong in that particular space as well. So we'll help you uh, configure the franchise model. And today's workshop should give you all the answers that you're looking at to be able to franchise your retail business in India perfectly. And I'm very excited about this category of business. It's a it's a high growth category business, and I'm sure that we'll be able to you know build a big franchising chain uh, from this. So thank you so much. We'll come back to, uh, at the end of the day to see if you've covered. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Hi. Uh, we've just completed this workshop with Koja India. Uh, these are wonderful lifestyle stores uh, revolving around fashion, cosmetics, and uh, you know lifestyle-related category products. Uh, with me is the founder of the company, Mr. Brian. Uh, they operate multiple stores across the world and uh, we've just completed the franchise workshop for them. We've created the franchise model. Uh, I'd like to hear from you, Mr. Brian, in terms of uh, what your experience for this uh, day has been and what have been your key takeaways from this, uh, you know, franchise development workshop that we've done for you. So typically, you know, what has been the overall uh, feedback. We did discuss a couple of things in the morning. We did, uh, you know, set some goals for ourselves, and yeah, we said yeah. we're going to, uh, you know, cover a lot of points. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to hear your feedback on the day. Okay. First of all, thank you very much for having me. Absolutely. So the first thing, the day has been like very tremendous, very good. Uh, after attending this workshop, uh, I have come to know now how we should go further, how we should do expansion. So before that, we were not prepared. Like there are many like uh, uh, aspects that we need to address, which Mr. Amitji has like uh, explained in very detail. Now, how we should like prepare ourselves at the back end, and how we'll go forward with the franchise bazaar. So I think the day has been very great, and the workshop has been very fruitful. Yeah. And I hope like in the future, like we will have more of this kind of workshop, and we expand together. Sure, sure, yeah. So basically, this uh, uh, you know the business has got a lot of uh, uh, I would say variables. Uh, there is uh, you know buying products from across the globe. Then you know we are dealing with uh, a completely different identity of products and services. Uh, we are talking of Korean products. We are talking of Japanese products. We are talking of a complete theme 
uh, which is which is you know very fashion oriented, which is very fast forward, which is which is something which uh, the modern uh, you know generation uh, uh, you know kind of relates to. Uh, so considering these kind of complications, you you have uh, operations in different parts of the world, and they're looking at, at at operating very very aggressively across the country, especially India. You know, we, I feel the the potential is we can do hundred stores uh, for Poja. Uh, we've seen the growth of uh, brands like Miniso. Like uh, you know, uh, uh, Shimiwo and and other brands. Uh, I know that you know they are they are more on the on the Chinese uh, product uh, side. They are more on the uh, on on, a, on 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 the Chinese uh, 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 aspect of lifestyle. But here we are talking more of you know the Korean products and more of the Japanese products and things like that. Also, I feel that the customer has evolved to these kind of products. You know, they want to see new things. Uh, we are shipping new things uh, from the world. Uh, every month. So, so uh, do you think the franchise model is now uh, in your mind ready to be able to, you know, operate, uh, say, hundred stores across the country? Do you think, uh, you know, we've got the framework in place to be able to expand that? Definitely, Amit. Definitely. I think just now we have discussed like this uh, whole Hala U effect, like Korean effect, K culture effect, is coming to India now. This is the right time and to expand the market. So the of course, like now after going through this workshop, we have to prepare ourselves and organize everything. And going to hundred store, I think it's not like uh, it's definitely possible. Sure, it's definitely possible. Sure, great. So I'm super excited about this franchise model. Uh, we know that this has got tremendous potential. These uh, world class lifestyle stores uh, are going to be very very profitable. I've seen the numbers. Um, you know, the stores are breaking even in two years. They have more than ten stores operating. And they're all, you know, they're breaking even in two years. So that's a very, very exciting thing for any uh, entrepreneur who's going to looking, who's, who's looking at investing in a, in a store like this. So we'll build this model, and hopefully, uh, we'll make Koja uh, as one of the most exciting franchise brands in this category. Thank you so much.